Welcome. I'm going to show you how to take a dashboard that looks like this and turn it into this in about 15 minutes. Let's navigate to Corda's wiki, wiki.corda.com. Do a search for center view theme. One of the first documents that come up is called how to create a center view theme based on a web template. That's what I'm going to show you how to use. So before you start, um, you'll notice that I'm using Firefox. That's not a requirement, but it come in, comes in handy um, because it has a plugin called Firebug. Now, other browsers um, have similar plugins, and so if you feel more comfortable with one of those, you can. And I, I will show you how to use that in just a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the doc root themes directory of our center view installation. Typically um, on a Windows machine that's in C colon Corda center view server doc root and themes. Um, the path can be a little bit different depending on where you've installed it and the operating system you're using. Okay so now that we're here we're going to create a brand new directory and we're going to name it the name of our theme. Um, I'm going to create a theme called widget-like. So I create that directory. I'm going to go into that directory and I happen to have a theme um, that I found out on the internet um, that I just downloaded <clears throat> called widget-like. Now in that directory is an images directory, an index HTML, and a style CSS. If we quickly look at the index.html in Firefox, this is what the theme is going to basically look like when we're done. So let's close that. Okay, so what we need to do to get there is we need to copy the images directory, the index.html, and the styles.css file into our widget-like directory in our themes. Next what we need to do is a theme. Centerview uses a theme.csx file instead of a CSS file. I'm going to go to one of our existing themes, copy the theme.csx file that is in there, and copy that file into ours just as a template to, to start out with. Okay. So I'm going to edit this file, <clears throat> and if you scroll down, eventually you're going to come to a section of the file that says Start File Theme CSS. I'm basically going to start copying all the CSS styles until I see A marker. I'm just scrolling down until I see a marker down here that says end of file, end file. Okay, so I've highlighted all that. I'm going to hit delete. So now we simply have a start file and an end file. I've basically just completely cleared this theme. And I'm going to save the file. Okay. Uh, the next thing I want to do is our theme had a style CSS file. I'm going to open that. I'm going to copy everything in there. I'm then going to open our theme CSX file. And uh, I made that space, cleared all that out. Now I'm just going to copy this, what I just copied, right back in there and hit save. Okay, so now we've got a theme CSX file that has the CSS from our original file. Um, we really don't need this original CSS file anymore. Let's delete that. Okay, if we look at the HTML file, we can clearly see that it looks like we've only got one level of navigation for this CSS theme. And so I'm going to 
choose the single nav grid file. I'm going to download that, and I've already done that, it's sitting right here. I'm going to copy that, and in that widget like directory that I put in our themes directory, I'm going to paste that file. Okay. So now, what we want to do is let's open our index.html file that came with our CSS theme. Okay. I'm going to find in the HTML the start of the body tag, and I'm going to copy everything between there and the end body tag. I'm then going to open the single nav grid file. And you can see at the top of that file it says paste your template HTML here. So I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to paste that HTML. It's very important that you grab the content in the body tag. Don't grab anything surrounding it like the doc type or the HTML tag. We just want the inner portion of that template. Okay. The next step is we can open that in Center View Builder. Well, let's make sure I saved that. Okay. I'm going to create, um, let's call it widget like, a brand new dashboard. Okay. And I'm going to simply go over to this theme. And because I created that directory, you can now see that widget-like appears in my themes. So I'm going to select that. You can also see that the nav layout defaulted to single nav, which is that grid file that we copied into that directory. And if you look in this center pane, you can clearly see that we have what looks like that CSS theme in center view. Now we don't we don't see our um, KPI or our page because we haven't quite finished that part yet. And these and these um, we still need to update also the navigation.